In this lesson, we will be learning about the ablative of means or instrument. Do you remember all the way back in Latin 1, when we first talked about the ablative case, we learned how it is used as the object of the sid space prepositions. But I also had you write on your chart that the ablative case can be used adverbially. And then I gave you a silly demonstration about how the ablative case can be used without a preposition to talk about a soldier killing someone with a sword. When you put the preposition with or cum in the sentence, you create a picture where the sword would be walking with the soldier. And so in order to communicate the idea that the sword is the instrument that is used to complete the action, the Romans simply forgets or doesn't put in the preposition cum. He only uses the noun in the ablative case. This is called the ablative of means or instrument. I have two sentences here on this slide in English and then in Latin to show you the use of the ablative of means or instrument in Latin. The first is the example that I always use when I talk about it. And the second one is a little bit different than what we think of as using something like a sword or a shovel or a stick in order to complete an action. In the second sentence, we say that we sailed to Italy on favorable winds. Now, obviously, we don't hop on board the winds and sail away, but the winds are what are helping us to make the sailing possible. For this reason, the Roman author sees the phrase unfavorable winds as an adverb to explain how the action of sailing is completed or aided. So we sailed to Italy on favorable winds. You do want to try to translate the ablative when it does not have a preposition in front of it by using words like by or with or on. Sometimes you may even say by means of and then you'll be able to communicate the idea effectively. The first several times that we see this in writing, I will footnote for you the fact that what you are looking at is an ablative of means or instrument. And then you can, if you need to, come back and reference this video so you'll understand what that needs to sound like or look like in English.